Now, let me take you up through the atmosphere to the stratosphere and let's focus on the Arctic at the moment because there is an event taking place right now over the course of yesterday and today called a sudden stratospheric warming. You may have heard of one before, it's SSW for short. Now, I haven't got enough time to go through all the technical detail about one, but in a nutshell, it involves a rapid warming of the air, but it's 30 to 50 kilometers above ground, above the Arctic. So this is way higher than the jet stream. Jet stream's around 10, 11 kilometers uh, above the ground. Now these happen roughly two in every three winters. So it's not uncommon. They happen every now and again. And sometimes, and this is the crucial bit, sometimes over the course of one to two weeks, that effect can work its way down towards the jet stream and can disrupt the jet stream. And of course, it's the jet stream that drives our weather. So if that gets disrupted, it means we get less of the mild Atlantic uh, influence and instead we can get some slightly colder conditions coming in. Now in February 2018, we had an SSW mid-February. Two weeks later, we had the beast from the east, remember that. So we have an SSW happening right now. What we're not entirely clear about yet is how that will impact the jet stream going forward in the next few weeks. And there's a lot of speculation in the media, in newspapers and in social media at the moment about a beast from the east returning. But right now, there's no real sign of that coming up anytime soon. We'd be looking at late February, early March if anything were to happen. But as I say, compared to 2018, it's not looking particularly likely at the moment. So uh, a lot of hype, not much substance behind the hype at the moment, but we will keep a close eye on it. And of course, if anything is heading our way, we'll let you know here on Look East in the weeks ahead. And it's certainly not cold out there today, that's for sure, with this westerly flow off the Atlantic, a lot of cloud cover, as you can see across the UK on the satellite picture earlier. So not a great deal of change, really, through this evening and tonight. We are going to keep a fair covering of cloud. There's a few gaps every now and again, but generally cloudy skies, mainly dry, a few spits and spots of light rain. That's about it, really. But it is mild tonight, no frost problems. Eight or nine degrees will be the overnight low with that westerly wind continuing through the night. So into Friday, the isobars are pinched together, this weak front drifting down from the north, but a lot of mild air in place. So it will be a windy Friday. Again, quite a bit of cloud through the morning, maybe one or two spits and spots of light rain, but much of the day dry tomorrow. And if anything, actually, that cloud thinning and breaking more readily than we saw today. So a better chance of a little bit of brightness and sunshine coming through. And look at these temperatures, 15, 16 degrees, up to 61 in Fahrenheit. But those winds will be pretty brisk tomorrow, gusting 35 to 45 miles per hour. Now for the weekend, well, it's more of the same. We've still got that mild air in place. We've still got that rather breezy westerly flow. And we've got these rather faffy fronts lingering nearby. They're pretty weak, so not expecting a lot of rain from them. But in general, there is going to be quite a bit of cloud through the weekend. Some light rain and drizzle possible Saturday in particular. Probably slightly drier on Sunday, but still rather overcast. It stays mild even into early next week. A trend towards something a bit colder from Wednesday onwards. But as I say, no significant cold looking likely on the way. Bye. Dan, thank you. I'm back at 10.30. Until then, from everyone here, bye-bye.